Mm. The betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to, uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's, uh, it's really, it's uh, in my opinion, one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Race 10 on the card is the Compendium Insurance Brokers Handicap. It's a listed race over 1,600 metres. Now, the importance of race 10 is that it's the first leg of the final pick three, and we have a carryover of 100,000 rand. We're expecting that last pick three pool to reach in excess of 500,000 rands. And I'll be short, sharp, and to the point for me. One of the better bets on the card, I'm going in a big way, with the Justin Snaith trained number seven warrior. Yes, there are dangers, and yes, he's quite easy to back, but for me, I think he's been set up beautifully for this race. We know he's got a lot of talent, and I think he's gonna give Grand Fenikek a winner in the first leg of the final carryover pick three, but maybe I'm the only one who thinks that warrior's a good thing, so let me hear from my colleagues, Rahil, and Sheldon, firstly, Rahil. I think Warrior is a lively runner, Graham. He is a distance specialist, seven runs for four victories. There's a butt coming. <laughs> yes, there, there is a butt. It isn't, it isn't a one off race for me. I think uh, Warrior is vulnerable and he can be beaten. He ran fourth in the Cup trial last time out behind Airways Law. That was his first run after rest. No doubt he'll strip a much better horse on this occasion. He's drawn in seven with Grand Fanikak. But I think the value in the race could be with number two in Glamu. Now, in Glamu, he's drawn in gate number two. It was nothing but game last time out 61 and a half kgs on the back and he was just touched off behind a back to black who he had to concede a six kgs to richard for board he has 55 and a half to carry and i think he's going to go to the front and if he manages to get some cheap fractions up there i think Inglamu can go all the way as he did in his penultimate start when beat when beating conquered the enemy so in Glamu, at around 10 to 1 in the market for the Sean Terry yard, that's going to be the each way play for me. I think horse number six, Zavian from the Brett Crawford yard, is another runner that you must throw into all your bets. And then number eight, Cat Daddy, 16 to 1 in the market. He could be worth some uh, nice each way play and could be a runner to include into those swingers, trifectas, and quartets. But, Sheldon, how do you see this race? I'm going to be with Graham, number seven, Warrior. I think he's definitely the horse that they all have to beat. If you look at his last run, first run in KZN, back here, he ran a decent fourth to Airways Law. So I'll stick with that one as the first selection. But the value for me, number 11, Gentleman's Wager. Finished third to Airways Law last time out and was most unlucky. Got taken out at a very, very crucial stage. 12 to 1 down, 8 to 1. Very unlucky. And I've had a few gentlemen's wages on the day on a couple of horses with the guys out there. It's a, it's a nice surprise for a few of the guys out there. So we'll be looking for gentlemen's wager. But I think Warrior sets the standard. And I think the pace will be genuine. I think party time uh, from his wide draw is going to go out and uh, make sure they go hot in the early stages. Peter Musket, as you've just mentioned, well represented with gentlemen's wager and tread swiftly. Gentlemen's wager is almost as old as I am but he still continues to run very consistently, the seven-year-old, rising eight-year-old son of Oratoria. You've heard from Rahil, you've heard from Sheldon. For me, race 10, first leg of the carryover pick three is all about Warrior. It's Donovan Everett from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.